Hi boys and girls, it's me again. So lesson 13 is about writing division expression. So when we first started the unit, remember writing addition and subtraction expression? Well today we're going to do division expression. So first example is showing how we can write division without using the division symbol. So can you think of another way to write 1 divided by 2? Hopefully you remember that you can write this in fraction form as 1 over 2, which also means 1 divided by 2. So you need to remember that. We could also model this. In this case, your dividend is 1. So that represents the whole. So again, your dividend is 1. So we're going to do 1 divided by 2. So we're going to break it into two parts. So your solution would be 1 half, which is also 1 divided by 2. Okay. Example 2 is going to be writing an expression showing a divided by 2 without the use of the division symbol. So the difference between example 1 and example 2 is example 1, we have a variable. So it's the same idea as 1 divided by 2. Instead of 1 over 2, it's going to be a divided by 2 in fraction form. As a model, what's your dividend in this case? Your dividend is always going to be your numerator. And in this case, it's a. So this would be a divided by 2. So that means we're going to divide it into two equal parts. So your solution would be a divided by 2. When we write division expression using the division symbol, we represent the dividend, so this is vocabulary, divided by the divisor. How would this look at a fraction. So it's the dividend divided by the divisor here. As a fraction, your dividend goes in your numerator. And your divisor always goes in your denominator. Okay, so that's just vocabulary review. Example three, the next page. On example three, you have to write an expression showing a divided by b without using the division symbol. So this is your dividend, a, where did that go in fraction? The numerator. Divisor goes in your denominator. Okay? Part b, we have to write an expression. So what's an expression? It's a sentence that does not have an equal sign. Where g divided by the quantity h plus Three. So, we have two operations going on. G divided by the quantity H plus is what operation? Plus 3. Can I stop there? What are we dividing G by? We're dividing G by H plus 3. So what do you think I need to do to H and 3? I have to put parentheses around there. Okay, we could write this another way, using a fraction form, like a over b. Your dividend, in this case, is g, so that goes in your numerator. So we could write g over, your divisor is h plus 3. These two expressions are the same thing, just showing different ways of division. Part c is slightly different. Write an expression for the quotient. Do you remember what quotient means? Quotient is the answer to a division problem. So if I say the quotient of the quantity m reduced by 3 and 5, what operation do you think reduced it? That is subtraction. So we're going to take the quotient of m reduced by 3 and 5. How could I represent m reduced by 3 and 5? So m is being reduced by 3. We have to find the quotient of this and 5. That's a little tricky. So m is being reduced by 3. We have to find the quotient of this and 5. Or could I write this in fraction form? You could. You could write this as your dividend is m minus 3 over your divisor, which is 5. OK, 
Okay. 40 exercises, all you have to do is write each expression in two ways using your division symbol and as a fraction. So the first one is pretty simple, it's using numbers. We're writing expressions, we're not solving them. So we're going to write 12 divided by 4 using the division symbol. Or, as a fraction form, is 12 over 4. Okay. I want to do one more with you for the exercises. Let's do... E. I'll do E with you, with the variable. 7 divided by the quantity x plus y. So plus means addition. x plus y. However, I want to divide that by the quantity of x plus y. So that means I have to do x plus y first. So i got to put parentheses on there. That's using division symbol. We have to write this as well as a fraction. So in this case, your dividend is 7. That goes in your numerator. Your divisor is x plus y. Okay, now I'd like you to do is try the rest of these on your own without my assistant, and we'll talk about that tomorrow in class. Thank you.